So, air frying. You asked, we're delivering. We asked on Connect and we said, what video do you want to see? And you said you wanted to see from freezer to air fryer. So, today, I'm going to make our lunches using the air fryers. Now, we have two types of air fryers. You might have one that looks like this, has a basket. You pull it out, you shake your stuff, you put it back in. Very handy, very inexpensive. This one has an analog knob, got it at Walmart for like 40 bucks. This one over here is a toaster oven. This one is heavy duty. This one has a basket and uh, this one can go up to 450 degrees. This one was $300 at Kohl's. Doesn't matter which type you use, the food comes out to the same. And today, I'm gonna use both. All right, so we're gonna make some corn dogs, eight points a piece. I don't normally eat these like as a meal, but for this purpose, for making these, we're gonna demonstrate. In addition to that, I'm also making some cod. The cod is, how many points was the cod? Seven. Seven, seven points. Now this is a little warm because I preheated it, but inside here you'll see I have my corn dogs and my cod. I need to use a little spray. Good? Yeah, it's light, but yeah, we'll go with that. No, you want more? They're like glistening. Oh, I love it when they glisten. So you tell me, internet, is that enough? <laughs> For enough. Stick that on there and we have determined through trial and error that we're going to go with 375 which I'm only going to start with for about six or seven minutes. Now for this stuff I have two plates of everything that goes at about 400. Okay we are going to use the bigger toaster oven. Now Darren. Yo. Tell me how yes. What is the shortest cook thing in your trials? Do you oh know? Oh my goodness, you're asking me to go get my notes. Uh, let's see. Uh, burritos are going to cook for 15 minutes with a single flip. Okay. Uh, the shrimp cook for 9 minutes. The french fries cook for 13. And... Oh, we got other notes over here. Do you have any idea how many notes I took for this? Uh -huh. So many. The dino nuggies cook for 10. We are trying to put this in here in a way that everything fits and we aren't overcrowding too hard. It's going to be a little overcrowded, but not too much. And that's bad. always the hard part, is making sure that you don't overcrowd. So now, this I had the burritos in the front and the fries in the back. That's what we're going with. So we're going to set this in here. Helps if you know how to use your air fryer. Do you want some help? No, shut up. <laughs> Come on, let me pick. Oh, thank you at 400 degrees start. It's a digital air fryer. It's complicated. It is. You got to use it more than twice. So in nine minutes, we're going to check on this. And in however many minutes, we're going to flip those over. Alexa, stop. So it's been seven minutes. My analog timer did not go off yet, but we'll just turn that off. And we are not done. We are simply checking. We got our fish, we got our corn dogs, they're coming along. We're gonna flip these over by rotating the corn dogs. Put it back in here. And another seven minutes. I used Alexa to set that timer and that's because this uses an analog dial to turn and it's hard to see exactly where you're at when you're in odd increments, like six or seven minutes. So I'm using my wiretap to uh, keep track of the time. So our timer has gone off and it's time to take out our shrimp. Now this is hot, so I'm using some, some hot pads. There's supposed to be like a handle thing for this, but it's warm. And get my tongs and I'm gonna get my shrimps. Two for you and two for me. And then I'm gonna flip over my burritos. everything else just kind of, well, we'll flip them over too, why not, we're here. Now, when I put this back in here, I'm going to rotate it so that the burritos are in the back. Why would you do that? Well, because the back of the oven theoretically gets hotter. Oh. And uh, the burritos probably need a little more heat. They are pretty dense. So, we're going to put this back in here and we're going to set it for another, let's see, six, seven minutes. And go. And we'll check on it again. 
right, so it's been seven minutes. It's time to check on our food. What do you think? Oh man, those are all sorts of golden and crispy and delicious looking. They are. I love it. Everything should be done. But I know that's not gonna, this is not a perfect world. Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> the burritos are leaking. So, burritos. What temperature, Karen, should a burrito be? Honestly, warm. Because they came cooked out of the bag. <laughs> All right, well, what temperature do you go for? I usually shoot for above 130. I can't see that on camera. 138. Haha, <laughs> we have perfect burritos. You have a little bit of burrito on your chicken nuggets. Oh no, there's nuggets on my burritos. And you got burritos on my nuggets. I think that's how they came up with Reese's peanut butter cups. The french fries, which look a little overdone if I'm being honest. I don't know. Mm. Those are crispy. They're supposed to be crispy, aren't they? Yes. So in an ideal world, you wouldn't eat all of these for a single meal. And we're not. We're actually just going to taste them. The fries are three points per serving. The corn dogs are eight points per serving. The burritos are seven points per serving. The chicken nuggets for six of them is seven points. The fish, seven points? I think it was seven points. Um, we usually eat six chicken nuggets and one serving of fries for 10 whole points. That's 32 points for everything that we made today. Oof. On green, but we're not going Oof. to do that, are we? <laughs> what? Eat it all. I mean. No, no we're not. <laughs> Tempting. All right, so everybody knows that uh, a wife's a great ambition here is to cook good food for her husband. Does that, does that look like good food? I don't know. Yes, I love food. Let's see what we, so we cooked the french fries, right? Ow, ow, ow. They're crispy, they're crunchy, they're light and fluffy. I like the fries, the fries are good. Where do you go from there? Mm. Dino Nuggies. Rawr. Mm. Those are delightfully crunchy on the outside. I haven't had shrimp in so long. Shrimp are actually super low calorie. Not when they're breaded and Parmesan crusted though. Mmm. They're crispy and they didn't take nearly as long as cooking them in the oven. That's amazing. So I eat my corn dogs differently than everyone else. I rip the stick out, tells you how hot it is inside. And then I eat them from the bottom. It's fully cooked. It's definitely warm inside. It's crispy on the outside, it's fluffy on the inside. This is like when your mom would make you corn dogs when you were a kid and she put them in the oven, but you would just microwave them. This tastes like my mom likes me and she made me corn dogs. What'd you do to my burrito? It got stabbed. So. El Monterey burritos, not sponsored, are one of my guilty pleasures. I love these things. So we eat them as snacks on the regular. Seven points on so, green. <laughs> we deep fry them. Well, used to deep fry them, but I haven't been able to really do them well since then. Let's see how we did. I think I heard a crunch. Mm. The tortilla on the outside is definitely crispity, crunchity, oh so delicious. I know you love that burrito. We need you got one more thing to oh, try. Fish. The fish. This is beer battered cod. That's really good. Alright. That's worth the seven points. So air fryer? Air fryer's a win. And all of this was in the freezer half an hour ago. This is a win. I mean, do I look frazzled? I feel frazzled. You should. How was lunch? Oh, uh, well, you know, I took a few bites of everything and then gave the rest to the kids. Um, but everything came out crispy and delicious. Now, I want to note to the internet out there um, that we spent, well, Garen actually spent a whole week uh, trial and erroring times and, and different devices. His pages and pages of notes. That's the only reason we were able to turn out all those things at once. I do not recommend 
that you ever cook that many things all at once at various times at maybe various temperatures. We knew we could get away with it because of prep work. So all of this spawned when uh, one of our subscribers said, hey, could you do a freezer to an air fryer video? We said, sure, we love our air fryer. It's great and it's amazing and we can do that. And what we wind up usually doing is we have nuggets and fries for lunch and we <laughs> throw them in the basket and 10 minutes later, we've got lunch. Nuggies and fries, bring it, they're great, dip, dip. By the way, a portion of six chicken nuggies and uh, one 85 gram portion of Orida crinkle fries, which is six or seven points for the nugs. I think it's seven, maybe it's seven. I said six earlier. I think it's seven points for the nugs and uh, three points for the fries and then one point for ketchup. So normally we're the kind of family that um, I have a dual fryer, deep fryer, okay? It has two bins of oil, two baskets, and you can go nuts. Deep frying was my thing. When we say it was a double fryer, it had two one gallon bins. We deep fry and it's good. <laughs> I mean, it shows when I say I sweat gravy, yeah. Uh, and we've moved away from that in trying to move, uh, move on to weight loss and a better, healthier lifestyle. So. Uh, the, air the air fryers are getting used. As I mentioned earlier, I do have two different types. I have found that the smaller round basket produces a better result. So it's funny that you say that because I was going to ask, what were your lessons learned? I, uh, my lessons learned is one, I'm still afraid of hot things. Okay. Two, digital all the way. So you don't want the click, 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 click. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, I need a bigger basket. It's funny because on the, on the front of the boxes, it always shows you can hold up to three quarts in this thing and they show a big old pile of fries. No, don't do that. Yeah, don't overcraft. Air frying, you need a single thin layer, which is why you want to go with the biggest basket you can get. Now, I want to note that you can throw in a f pile of frozen vegetables. I've actually seen quite a few people do this. Is you, it steaming them or roasting them? It's, uh, it depends. If you don't add any oil, it's just a steam. If you do add oil, it sort of roasts them. It's a roasting frying motion. Yeah. So, um, and by all means, I didn't pull out the thing and shake it because everything I made in the smaller bin uh, needed flipped instead of shaken. But if I had made the chicken nuggets and fries in there, you want enough room to be able to to shake it. That is actually something you should do. So additional lessons learned. The big units versus the small ones, they behave differently. The, uh, let's see, parchment paper and air fryers. Totally good. So if you have, say, a breakfast sandwich, a Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwich, and you split that sucker open, set it on parchment and put it in there, it's gonna turn out great. But if, say, you're making biscuits or corn dogs or something where you want the air to get all the way around it, don't use parchment. My, my last big takeaway, because we got the, uh, yeah, my last big takeaway, your mileage may vary. Yes. The size of the device, the shape of the device, the type of food you're using, is it warm, is it cold, are you using oil? Did you know you can make popcorn in there? You're gonna break my brain. Don't do that, <laughs> don't do that to me. I mean, it makes sense, but your mileage may vary. And these are all just quick, simple things that we pulled out of the freezer. So nothing was hard, but the problem with freezer foods into the air fryer, aside from being delicious, is very high in points. Yes, so as we said earlier, we eat chicken nuggets and fries for lunch. We don't eat chicken nuggets, fries, shrimp, corn dog, burrito, and all that in a day, usually. Today we got to taste all of them. They're all great. And they were great. But, uh, but most days we only have like one of those things. So. Yes. Air fryers. Huge success, right? Right? Who knew? I've got two of them, so. I'm we bored. knew. We, we knew, we're showing you, we, we knew. So next week. Yes, what are we doing next week? Next week, I am gonna get up on that exercise horse again. Uh, so I actually spent a lot of time doing that this week, which was. You did, I, I shared your photo on Instagram. Oh yeah, check out the gram. Oh, oh yeah, we have to do the plug. Shameless plug incoming. Check us out on the gram, not so much on the Twitter. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Hit the bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Okay, we, 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 we did that. Every... You can also find us on Connect. Our information is known in the description. It is. If you don't know what Connect is, get on the WW train. Toot toot. Just saying. What? Oh, I was like, what is that beeping that went right with it? That was just. I do It's timing. the garbage truck outside because of the day of the week that it is. Uh. Anyways, 
Um, next week, I'm going to get on the bike. I'm going to get on the treadmill. I, at least I'm going to try very hard to because... We could do live classes on Peloton next week. Maybe. Maybe we can. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know what next week's video is going to be, but it's going to be Something to do with great. exercise. Water. We need more water. Yeah, well, I, I started drinking water yesterday, like, hard. Like, a ton of water. I got my water right here. Um, and it's amazing how you think you don't want water, and then when you get a little bit in you, you're like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize that I'm thirsty. And then you just plow through it. As I've said repeatedly, one of my biggest hurdles has been drinking. Water? Right? No, drinking alcohol. Everybody yeah. says it's a it's a trope. You want to lose weight, you got to give up drinking. And science says that that's just not true because it turns out that alcohol is not calorically dense. I mean, a little bit. In a future video, I'm going to explore this a little bit. Oh, oh, the whole drinking and then drinking the other thing and then going back to the good drinking. Uh, that and, and some other things I can do and choose to, to have my drink and drink it too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else we want to add? I don't think so. Cool. Thanks for stopping by. See you later. Well, I wasn't going to start until this thing went ding. Does it ding? Oh, it dings. You can't speed the cooking up by turning the knob. Yeah, you can. No. You <laughs> See, I turned the knob and it cooked faster. Now it's done. Okay.